Wake up, Toby Johnson. I'm Emily, and get ready for First Things First period on Tuesday, October 27, 2015. It looks like it's time for First Things First on TJTV. I'm Ryan. Our annual Fall Fest is this Friday. Don't be caught in the lines waiting to get your tickets. Tickets will be sold at the student store window. This is one time you do not need to bring your student ID to buy tickets. There will be inflatables and scrumptious food oh. booths such as boba, pizza, spam masubi, fun games, and a DJ. Tickets are 50 cents each and items range from 3 to 6 tickets. Cooking Club members Group B, you will be making brownies tomorrow. It's not too late to join. Just make sure you bring the $6 to the student store windows. Now let's go to Caitlin with TVIH. This day in history. Hey Jags, Caitlin here with TDIH. In 1904, the first subway opened the to the general public and more than 100,000 people paid a nickel to take their first ride under Manhattan in 1995. In 1995, an unusual large avalanche buries homes and kills 20 people in Iceland. This disaster was the second deadly avalanche in the region that year. And in 2004, the Boston Red Sox win the World Series for the first time since 1918, finally vanquishing that so-called curse of the Bambino that had plagued them for 86 years. Well, that's it for me. I'm Caitlin. Now back to you. Thanks, Caitlin. This week is Spirit Week. Today is a groovy tie-dye day. Did you wear it? Tomorrow is Dress Like a Mess or Dress to Press Day. Thursday is Sport Day. Friday is Dynamic Duo Day. Let's get some more Spirit Day info from Mrs. Kinnicaid. Good morning, Jags. It was great to see you yesterday uh, with all your spirit on campus. And I hope you are rocking your tie-dye today. If so, teachers, please award, oh, I have a lot going on here. Please award this right now to the best dressed student for tie-dye. Students who win the ticket meet, uh, meet on the outdoor stage uh, the last 10 minutes of your lunch for a group photo. Now let's talk Fall Fest prizes. In order to participate in the prize cube that is filled with great gift cards such as Starbucks, Chipotle, Java Juice, Boba Tea House, you must turn in the blue form and it's a permission slip that you got in advocacy when you buy, oh, you turn this form into the student store when you buy your wristband. You want that wristband in order to be on the inflatables. Don't miss out. I will see you tomorrow. Now back to you, Ryan. It's Miss Kincaid. Emily, do you know what time it is? I think it's time to talk. Sports, Sports talk. talk. Hey, Jags, Den's in here, and it's time to talk. Sports talk. Up today, Monday Night Football results. If it was a good day if you were a Cardinals fan. Arizona beat Baltimore 26 to 18 with a late interception in the fourth quarter by Tony Jefferson. The Franklin Junior Wildcats Junior Midget team beat San Joaquin Rams 12 to 6 in overtime. Hunter Greer made a one-yard game-winning touchdown. Cameron Randall rushed a good chunk of the ball, averaging five to six yards a carry. Donovan Davidson had two touchdown saving plays, and Ian Charles had a great sack on the quarterback, a blind side hit. This has been your Sports Talk. I'm Denzin, now back to you. Denzin. If you are in Battle of the Books Club members, the next meeting is this coming Thursday during both lunch periods. You will discuss the book's football hero, the name of the star. Mrs. Summers will also announce the t-shirt design winner. If you are going to buy a t-shirt, please bring $10. Don't forget to bring your lunch so we can meet on time. The Christian Club will meet this Thursday on October 29th, being at 3 p.m. in room MH8. This is a change from your usual meeting schedule. The AMK Club will meet in room MH8 today at 2.55 after school. There will be a reverse minimum day schedule tomorrow. School will begin at 11.30. And will end at regular time. If you want to eat lunch, then come to school at 11 o'clock. The student store will be closed due to the reverse minimum day tomorrow. It is the third week of term two. Do you need help in math? 
There is a morning tutoring in MF11 from 7.30 to 8 o'clock a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now let's go to K&K &K for Halloween costumes. Hey Jags, I'm Kate. And I'm Kat. We have some awesome and punny costumes for you today. Kat, do you want to tell them? Sure. Our first costume is a Fifty Shades of Grey costume. I know what you're thinking. What? All you really need is a hot glue gun. But remember, do this with the parent guardian, along with gray paint samples that you can get at any home decor stores. That sounds great, Kat. For our next costume, you have to be smart to pull this one off. All you need is some Smarties and stick them to your pants and you can call yourself a Smarty Pants. Wow, that's a great one, Kate. Well, for our last costume is a ceiling fan. All you really need is, a, is some paint, a shirt that you can paint on, and some pom-poms. Well, that's it for us. I'm Kat. And I'm Kate. Now back to you. Thanks, Kate and Kat. Looks like it's time to end today's show. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of First, first Things First, first on TJTV. TV. I'm Emily. Have a groovy Tuesday. And I'm Ryan. It's National Navy SEAL Day.